that uh, we're watching everything that Jesus talked about. We're watching pestilences. We're watching earthquakes. We're watching, um, um, you know, deception. We're watching, uh, I mean, birth pangs. I mean, these are birth pangs. And the birth pangs are for us to understand. Yeah. Hello. We're, hello. We're soon hello, out of here. Hello. Now, we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. But we mm. know the times and the seasons. Mm. And we need to be ready. And, and all of those things must make us, the believers, excited and full of resilience, perseverance, and, and, and have hope. Why? Because, look, God, by his grace, revealed that to us a long time ago. He said, in this world, you'll have tribulations. He told us exactly which tribulation. He told us exactly what the signs of the end times are going to be. None of us as believers should be surprised. And instead of... Uh, getting angry about the little things we should be excited about the big picture oh okay yeah. i, I want to tell you something folks if you are angry that your liberties are being taken from you <laughs> you've seen nothing yet you've seen nothing this was the this was the introduction to something much worse and I, just remember right now it's the greatest time for the believers not to try to be like the world, but to actually show the world the hope in Christ, the love of Christ. Look, the reason we're here and what we can do in these dark days, and the days will be even more darker. The Bible says the days are evil. The Bible said that we need to, to make the most out of our time. We need to redeem our time because the days are evil. Mm -hmm. redeem, how do you redeem our time? By fighting for what? fighting for the right to do this or they're fighting for the gospel. When Jesus comes back, he wants to find us doing the Father's business media. So let's pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. And that peace that we all need can only come from the Prince of Peace, Jesus, the Lord of Peace, who can give you peace now and forever and here and everywhere. It's not limited in space and time. Thank you. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you, Pastor Mike, for clarifying so much about Rosh and Russia. And please watch this telegram uh, uh, download video and uh, we love you thank you and god bless you